In this lesson, we examine data remnants and the need for effective media sanitation. Deleting files from a disk or other media does not delete the associated data. It only deletes the pointers to the data. In addition, overwriting the data does not always completely make the data inaccessible. Data remnants is the residual data that results from deleting or erasing operations. It allows an attacker to rebuild data from what might only be fragments that are found on the media. Many foreign and domestic statutes and regulations require the reasonable and appropriate elimination of data remnants. Removal of data remnants is called media sanitization. The approach to sanitization depends on the sensitivity of the data and the type of the media involved. It also depends on whether or not the organization plans to reuse the media or dispose of it. Disposal of media means it is leaving the organization. This requires complete destruction of sensitive information. Degaussing means using a strong magnetic field to erase magnetic media. Not all degaussers are the same. You must choose a degausser that's able to fully erase all of your types of magnetic media. Hard drives should be ground into pieces about 2 millimeters in size if they contain highly sensitive information. Organizations can identify certified destruction services in their area. It is important to properly record all media destruction. CDs can be sanitized by grinding, but not DVDs. CDs and DVDs can be shredded or knurled with a specialized device. But the only way to sanitize Blu-ray media is by incineration to powder. Solid state disposal involves disintegrating devices into particles about 2 millimeters in size. These devices can also be burned to ash. Smart cards or other tokens can be sanitized using strip shredding or by cutting the smart card into strips diagonally at a 45 degree angle. Cutting must include cutting the microchip through the center. If media is to be reused in the organization, or if it does not contain highly sensitive information, confidentiality and need to know must still be enforced. This means eliminating data from media before reassigning them to other users, reused in the data center, or disposed of. Re-imaging is sufficient for user devices if highly sensitive data was not stored on the device. This includes a complete overwrite of all writable space. Purging is the complete erasure of data from a storage device in a way that results in a high degree of data remnants removal. This is usually accomplished by overwriting the media several times or with cryptographic erasure. Purging should be done with a solution designed for that purpose. Purging usually writes a series of ones and zeros multiple times over the media's entire writable surface. This is the best approach for all magnetic media that hold highly sensitive information. Many SSD drive manufacturers provide a purging algorithm for their products. Multiple overwrites of SSD media will likely reduce the lifetime of the media. Consequently, it's best to use the vendor's product which simply sends a purge command out to the media and erases all information stored there. Cryptographic purging, or cryptographic erasure, is simple if the entire medium to be purged is encrypted with an improved encryption algorithm like AES. To purge the media, simply delete the key used for decryption from all locations. Cleansing, or clearing, is also done by a solution designed for that purpose. In fact, most purging solutions also provide cleansing capability for media containing less sensitive information. Cleansing is usually a single write of ones or zeros over a medium's writable surface. This might leave some data remnants for retrieval by attackers. This is why purging is required for highly sensitive information. This flowchart is a great tool for deciding how to manage media. Note that it isn't always necessary to destroy media when no longer needed.
The key takeaway for this lesson, one that you will see again during the week, is that the purging of backup media is needed whether it is to be reused or disposed of.